How you doing? My name is uh, Kenneth Ridley. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. Uh, a junior, registered junior. Uh, my major is uh, physical education. I like Cheney for that. I, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of the program. I ended up transferring to Morgan. I felt it was maybe a better situation for me. And as when I came here, I came in a fall of 2010. Yeah, 2010. And I had, uh, I remember I called up Coach Wright, begged him to see if I could get on the team. Uh, he told me I could come try out for the team. I walked on. Did set out, had the red shirt for the, that one year. Um, and then ever since then, it's just been like, I've just been working hard, grinding, and the cards is just, you know, the cards that I've been dealt, I've just been playing them, I mean. I, been, I took a, it's been a, it's been a, a rough challenge. I mean, I came a long way from going from high school to military prep school to uh, Cheney to Morgan so it's been a it's been a long walk a rough walk for me but through the graces of God I've made it um, Morgan here I mean the sky's the limit I mean opportunities are everybody has opportunities just what you make of that opportunity I mean all the resources are here you just got to use them and I feel like football is a has really helped me has really been a tool for me to get my education and become for the rest of the season and the conference. Well, of course, the, the, the main goal is to win the conference, be the champions, but also the, the, the main goals that our coaches stress is we want to have the best defense in the country. We want to have the best offense in the country. We want to have the best special teams. If not number one, we want to be at least top 10. That's what our coaches are really pushing and striving us to do. Like, let's be better than winning the MEAC championship. We're we going to win the MEAC championship, but we want to be the best in the country at what we're doing. So when it's time to come playoffs, we advancing in the playoffs. We want to win the national championship. That's the main goal. I mean, Coach Hill's a great dude. I mean, I had some uh, times during the season I was going through a little situation and me and Coach Hill, we sat down, we had a talk. I mean, he talked to me, he told me it was anything I ever needed to, you know, just talk to him. I mean, he really is a player's coach. I mean, he's a player's coach, he's a di he's disciplinarian. And the, the thing I really love most about Coach Hill, man, I think most people probably would, could tell you the same thing is, Coach Hill, he's a, he's a honest man. He wouldn't, he wouldn't stay you in the wrong direction. He's gonna tell you, tell you how it is, I mean, He's just gonna let you know, like, this is what's right, this is what's wrong. And he always says, don't don't ever lie to him, always tell him the truth. And, and with Coach Hill, I, I really got a lot of love for him for that, because he, really he really has looked out for a lot of people and, and really helped people get ahead and get along in life. I want to be remembered after I leave Morgan State. Well, I'm gonna say first off, there's been a lot of great players that's, that's played here at Morgan State. We've got a couple of NFL Hall of Famers. we got two guys in the NFL from last year right now. Uh, Lamont Bryant and Jordan Brooks. Shout out to them two guys. Um, motivation. They motivated others on the team to get to that next level. But the way I want to be remembered is as a leader. I did, all of, I did everything right. People see that I worked hard. If I don't make it to the NFL, I know I'll probably be heartbroken. I mean, it's a goal that I've, I've been trying, I want to accomplish something I've been dreaming about all my life. I mean, if NFL's not there, I'm going to try to push for the Canadian League. If the Canadian League is not there, I'll try to push for Arena League. If that's not there, now, you know, I'm, I'm in college. I'm going to leave here with a degree. Grandma didn't raise no fool. <laughs> um, but I, I'll probably end up, I really want to be a fireman. And if I can't be a fireman, I got another backup plan. I'll be a longshoreman. I 
I mean, I really appreciate you guys for coming out and interviewing me. And uh, I just want to give a special shout out back at home to uh, Hillside, New Jersey, uh, 973 Hillside High. Uh, that's where I went to high school at. And a uh, special shout out to my uh, homeboy that plays for the Green Bay Packers fourth round draft pick, uh, Jerron McMillan. You're my boy, man. Uh, you motivating me to keep going. So, and Joe Brooks and uh, Lamar Bryant, y'all boys are motivating me too to keep pushing and giving me that belief that I can do it. But if I can't, I always got a backup plan. And I just want to thank God for everything he's blessed me with and he will continue to bless me with. Thank you.